Hi, thanks for joining me today. I've got a stereotypical Olympiad style problem. We have x and y real numbers with x plus y equaling 2 and x to the 4 plus y to the 4 equaling 1,234. Our job is to find the product of x and y, so find x, y. If you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, but I'm going to dive right in. So what we're going to do is probably the most natural thing or the most intuitive thing to do, and that's take this first equation and raise both sides to the power of 4. So we get that 16 is x plus y to the power of 4. And then just using our binomial expansion, this is x to the 4 plus y to the 4. So I'm going to write this in a bit of an odd order. Then I'm going to write the terms with 4 in. So that's 4x cubed y plus 4xy cubed. And then the middle term, which is 6x squared y squared, like so. Okie dokie, cool. Well, x to the 4 plus y to the 4, we know is 1, 2, 3, 4. And now these two terms here, I'm going to factor out a 4xy from, because I can. And then I'm left with x squared plus y squared. And then this thing I'll just leave as 6x squared y squared for the time being. Okay, cool. Now, it seems like maybe we've hit a bit of a dead end, but this actually looks quite good because we've got xy here. And also this is just xy squared. So we've just got this x squared plus y squared thing here to deal with. And the trick to dealing with this is we're going to add and subtract the same term. So this is still equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 4xy. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in a 2xy here. But then of course I just have to subtract that off at the end. And then I've got plus 6x squared y squared. And so this is 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 4xy. Now this x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, that is just x plus y squared. But then I'm subtracting off 8 lots of x squared y squared from multiplying out those two terms together. So minus 8x squared y squared plus the 6 that we had here is overall minus 2x squared y squared. Great, so we've got 16, which remember is still our left hand side, equals 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 4xy times x plus y squared. But we know that x plus y is 2, so this thing here is simply 2 squared which is 4, and so this is going to become 16xy, and then here we've got 2 lots of xy squared, like so. Now for the purpose of simplification, let me just call this v or something. So let v equal xy, and so therefore this thing here gets, gives me 16 is 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 16v minus 2v squared, and here we just have a quadratic. So if we bring everything to one side, so maybe I'll bring everything to the left side, I get 2v squared minus 16v plus uh, 1,000, sorry, minus 1,218 equals 0. And then the next natural thing to do is to divide by 2. So you get v squared minus 8v minus 609 equals 0. And now we're just left with a very simple, in inverted commas, quadratic to deal with. How do we deal with such a quadratic? Well, remember, we don't have a calculator if we are treating this like an Olympiad problem. We want to think about this 609 here, maybe think about the factors of it. So it's pretty clear that 3 is a factor. So 609 is 3 times 203. And without too much difficulty, you can see 203 is a multiple of 10. It's, uh, to, uh, it's going to be 7 times 29. And so we get this. So 609 is 3 times 7 times 29, so we're thinking of numbers that multiply to 609 or minus 609 and add up to minus 8, and in doing so we can see 21 and 29 are going to be the numbers we want. So we get v minus 29, v plus 21 equals 0, and that means that v is either 29 or v is minus 21. So the answer to this for x times y is either going to be 29 or minus 21. But it has to be one of these two numbers, and it's our job to work out which it is. And we can do this using a very, very nice trick. So the trick to this is to use the arithmetic mean, geometric mean inequality uh, when we have two variables. So this, remember, says that a plus b divided by 2 is bigger than or equal to the square root of a and b for any numbers a and b at least 0. So here's the trick. We're going to eliminate the possibility that x times y is 29. Here's how we're going to do this. Let's suppose for contradiction that x times y was 29. Well, we also know that x plus y is 2. 
And so combining those two facts together, that implies that x and y must, must both be positive. Because if either of them were negative, well, if exactly one of them that was negative, their product would be negative. And if both of them were negative, well, then their sum would be negative. So neither of those are true, so therefore they both must be positive. Which means we can apply the geometric, uh, sorry, arithmetic mean, geometric mean inequality. And this says that a plus b over 2, or x plus y over 2, which would be 2 over 2, which is just 1, would be bigger than or equal to the square root of their product, which is 29. And that's obviously not true. And therefore, by contradiction, it can't be that x, y equals 29. And so therefore, x times y equals minus 21. And that there is our answer. A really nice problem with a solution that isn't actually too difficult to follow, I believe. Um, lots of students, if, at least if you've never seen this type of problem before, you might go a bit gung-ho and try and make, you know, plug in x's 2 minus y into this and get a really horrible looking quartic and try and solve that. But that's going to be really, really painful to do. Uh, and we don't actually need to work out what x and y are individually. You probably could using like this and this and the fact that this is now minus 21 and doing some sort of quadratic with that. But it's not going to be particularly pleasant. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll finish there for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.